I often find myself wondering, what is it that made the early church so wildly successful? Its context was hostile to it in almost every way. The religious establishment of the time and the Roman imperial authorities both wanted to see the early Jesus movement wiped off the map. And yet the harder they tried, the more it grew. It spread like wildfire, eventually reaching all six inhabited continents of the earth. What is it that claimed people's hearts so thoroughly? I think today's passage from Corinthians gives us the answer. Knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. The early church had love, and a wild, fierce kind of love at that. A love that's infectious, a love that people can't help being drawn to, even if they think they're resisting it. And that church is the same thing that we need today. We don't need to be the people who know the most, the people who speak eloquently. We certainly don't need to be the richest and most successful by standard societal measures. We do need to be the ones who love the most, the ones who can be counted on to cast out the demons, as we hear of in today's Gospel from Mark, the demons of division and hatred, the demon of nihilism, the ones who sweep out the unclean spirits everywhere around us and replace them with love. Church, can we do that? Can we love fiercely, wildly, joyfully, strongly? I guarantee you, all of the growth all of the prosperity, all of the success that we desire is dependent upon that one simple act.